Hi, I'm Daniel, the sleep physician, and the first time of this channel is for you. I have forgotten for the past two days to um, give the answer to the the, um, the challenge or the technique I talked about in episode two six six from last Friday. Uh, you, you might want to watch it before watching more here uh, for more background. But basically, I said the following: Please, for the next for a couple of days, uh, write down at the end of the day how you felt and why you felt that way. And here is my bet that you will find that you're writing kind of reading this diary of yours that you were like Tuesday. It was a pretty good day, and because. Uh, I um, my kids were really happy and and something like that. Or Wednesday, you know, I it was not such a good day because I got I, I stayed I had to stay very long at work and I was super tired when I come. Okay, so what's my point here is that if you keep track at the end of the day of how you felt and why, it doesn't always depend on sleep. I bet actually that most of the time other factors play just a big of a role in how you feel that the day was. And why is this important? Well, again, we always hear that you got to get that sleep so you feel refreshed. You got to get that sleep so you can function. You got to get the sleep so you feel the next thing. But the thing is, the more you build up uh, sleep, the more you feel like everything depends on sleep, the less sleep you get. So I think this exercise can show that nothing, in, not, all, not everything depends on sleep. In fact, other things play just as much a role and that can really help you sleep better. If you have any questions, as always, please comment or send me an email, daniel at insomniainsight.co. And if you have an iPhone and you want access to me uh, and a great curriculum, then download Bedtime with a Y on the App Store. If you have an Android, it's coming out in a few months as well. That said, I'll be back tomorrow. Until then, take it easy.